Hi, welcome to another video on our channel. Today we will show you statistics of new tanks from this update. But before we start, we'd like to remind you that in In Game Shop you can claim a free gift that will give you 500 gold, 5 days of premium, 1 collect em all container and 5 5 times experience multipliers. Besides that, new update brought back old completely random matchmaking system. Let's get to tanks now. Eric Concept is a German tier 9 medium tank. Its mobility is about the same as one we've shown in our last video with its stats from RU server, but the rest is completely different. All of its interesting factors were removed, it deals standard damage for a medium tank of such a tier and doesn't have a lot of DPM or penetration either. It seems to be a T at 9 KPZ 50T, but a lot weaker tier for tier. Mutant is theoretically a tier 7 version of T49 tank, but in practice it's a lot different. It doesn't even come close to the old Tier 7 T49 version, T49 ATGM. Most importantly, the tank lost all of the strengths you can find on the Tech Tree T49. It has only 6 degrees of gun depression, goes up to only 47 kilometers per hour, and has only 46 millimeters of penetration on HE shell. Theoretically, in exchange, it was supposed to receive usable armor, but we wouldn't expect it to bounce a lot. It basically feels like a smasher, but much, much worse. You should be able to get it in some sort of event. Avenir is a French tier 9 light tank, which you should be able to get during clan event in May. Sadly, the TNK itself doesn't even resemble its original version from December 2022. It has over 600 DPM less. It lost one shell from its clip. Intraclip reload is longer, and both accuracy and gun handling were absolutely crippled. There is no doubt that the original version of the tank was completely busted but it doesn't justify at all what Wargaming has done with it. After all of these unprecedented nerfs, it is nothing more than a worse version of a Tech Tree Tier 9 bat chat you can get at any time. It definitely needed a nerf, but not on such a scale. We personally think it would have been fine if they lengthened a reload by a few seconds instead of removing fourth shell from the clip and didn't touch the gun handling. In current state, it doesn't seem to be worth grinding at all unless you just want to sell it for 5,000 gold. And that's all for today. If you like our content, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. See you in another video.